<laughs> Y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's let let's shift gears for a minute and talk about the other rumor I heard today. Let's let's shift gears for a few minutes <laughs> and talk about the other nasty rumor going around Periscope that just started. Oh my god, you guys. Let's let I have to get this other part out of the way before we focus on Churchy and her new clean calzones. Okay? Before we get to Churchy and her clean panties, let me laugh about this other thing that I heard. Did y'all hear? Did y'all hear the rumor that King put out, tried to put out that that Wings had a heart attack, collapsed? fell and squashed her dog to death <laughs> and the dog <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was fucked up when when the guy talking about it who has since deleted the scope, said, well, then she collapsed and fell on her dog and the dog died. <laughs> I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> she fell on the dog and the dog died. <laughs> it's not true, but I mean... If she wasn't such a bitch, I would, that's why, that's why it's funny to me, because she's, like, such a bitch. <laughs> yeah, she is in the hospital, or was, but she's not dead, and all that, and she didn't fall on her dog, and kill her dog. <laughs> oh my god, I'm choking. <laughs> and why did that dude whose scope I heard it in delete his scope? His delivery of the news was awesome. <laughs> he was all praying for wings, and we're like, for what? He's like, well, I heard she had a heart attack and collapsed and fell on her dog, and the dog died. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and people were like, and where did you hear from? He was like, well, I heard it in Big King's scope. And I was like, well, there it is. It's a fucking lie. It's a fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, wait a minute. So, now that... Oh, wait, I'm not done laughing at this. <laughs> Because <laughs> it is, you know, it's false when Keen says it. Fuck. You know, he's a fucking liar. Anybody coming out here, like, parodying any, any Keen news is not too well versed in Big Keen. He was so serious about the dog. <laughs> she had a heart attack and then she collapsed and fell on her dog and the dog died and I was like, fuck you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. So Churchy got new. Who bought her panties? Don't tell me Mandy went and bought her a couple of six packs of you know parachute panties, parachute size panties. You know. So she got pant. Who bought her panties? What sucker bought her panties? Who bought her panties? No one knows, but somebody bought her panties. Well, she needs to wash her booty first, according to herself. Well, according to Chi-Chi, she went boo-boo on herself. She found them looking through her stuff. 
What the f- <laughs> I'm still laughing about the wings rumor that ain't shit. <laughs> she had a heart attack, collapsed, and fell on her dog, and the dog died. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Y'all need to check your sources before going live with uh prayers for so and so. What the fuck? <laughs> and I'll give you a piece of advice, sir, who did that scope. If it's coming from Keen, it's probably a lie. <laughs> she co- she had a heart attack, collapsed, and fell on her dog, and the dog died. <laughs> Oh my god. And Churchy found clean chones. Nope, to the Pope of Scope, you dope. Dude! What was his name? He deleted the fucking scope. Chris something. He's from Oklahoma. He watches wings. Let me go see if I can figure this shit out. His name is Chris on his display name, and then he has dog paws on it. But he hid the scope or deleted. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, I knew I should have hit that record button once I came into the scope. <laughs> <clears throat> and then also another rumor because of the the weird stuff Churchy was saying last night, there are people that are now starting to believe that Churchy has um, $5,000 in her bank account. Because she was saying last night, I'll give you $5,000 if you give me my wallet. (laughs) So people legitimately think, some people legitimately think she has $5,000. Rest in peace, poor doggy, and no poopy panties for Churchy that still smells with no bath. (laughs) Oh my God, people. Double and triple check your sources before going live and saying prayers for so-and-so. Even if they're not, even if they're a polarizing figure in our community, okay? Oh my God. Wings did not have a heart attack, collapse, fall on her dog, and squish the dog to death. Oh my god. <laughs> that sounds like something King would say. According, Keen tried to start a vicious rumor that Wings had a heart attack, collapsed, and fell on her dog and killed the dog. <laughs> but according to other people, Wings has been in the hospital for like two days or some shit. Which is why it's been all quiet on the Wings front, you know? No scopes of her going, Bitch! And also, we've learned today that when all else fails and Churchy can't find her way, she can always find her way to Five Guys. She can always find her way to Five Guys. (laughs) She can't find her way to the interstate or which way to go left, right, (laughs) north, south, east, west. But, bitch, I know we're five guys. <laughs> like a homie beacon, bitch. She's eating at five guys in between scoping. Is she Is she actually eating? Because she's been saying, like, I can't get any money out. Yeah, she's more worried about, like, you know, she's like, I don't, she's like, I don't have my wallet, my ID, my rewards card for this store, my rewards card for that store, you know, my food stamp card, all this crap. I'm like, damn, girl. 
this too much. This too much. And then Chi Chi shows her ring camera footage about how everything was chill. And she helped Churchy take stuff out to the car. She didn't toss it like a bitch. You know. Anything like that. <clears throat> I don't know who you are, so you can't come up. Introduce yourself before you come up here trying to get in my being, please. Introduce yourself in the chat. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> and she finally changed her panties after X amount of days. And after going dookie in them, apparently, from what I've heard. So she has clean panties on, but she's still got a dirty butt. Ew. 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 <laughs> well, according to Chi Chi, she did the dookie on the bed. And still didn't have a bath after that. Well, she did. I'm just repeating what's being said, okay? <laughs> I'm the news network based on facts, based on actual scopes, not this I heard, you know, tripping, a, dropping a deuce in a bed. And there are people that now believe that Churchy really has $5,000 in her bank account because of last night's scopes where she was saying, I'll give you $5,000 if you give me my wallet back. <laughs> Did Chi Chi show the poop crumbs? Nope. We, didn't, we haven't seen nothing but the ring camera footage. That's the only like receipt she's shown to like prove that it wasn't all hostile and what the fuck ever not, you know? What is Churchy screaming? Well, she has two accounts. And right now she is scoping on, let me go check which account she's using. Why am I upside down? Shit. Which account is this, this little witch on? What is she on? She is on <clears throat> She is on it is oh here it is It is she is on her at me church lady account all smushed together me church lady That's the account she's using right now. She's using at me church lady right now. She's live right now. Thanking God for clean panties. For clean panties. Clean panties. Dirty booty. Oh, Anastasia, have you heard the other vicious, nasty, yet funny rumor that Keen tried to start? A few minutes ago. <laughs> it's funny. <clears throat> Anastasia. Oh my God. So according to this other guy who went live. With the title Pray for Wings. So I go in there being messy right. I'm like, what's up with wings, you know? So according to this guy who was watching a Big Keen scope, Big Keen said that wings had a heart attack, collapsed, and fell on her dog, and the dog died! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you can't make any of this shit up. You cannot. 
So that guy goes live all serious, like, let's pray for Wings, and Wings is dog. And I'm like, and who told you this? And he's like, well, I heard it in Big Keen Scope. And I was like, well, therein lies your problem. If it's coming out of Keen's mouth, it's probably a lie. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And in other news, Churchy has clean panties. But no showers, so it's like it might as well not even be a thing. <laughs> I don't know if she's still sitting in the five guys parking lot. I'm actually Jennifer Aniston. Don't tell anyone. Now somebody's gonna screenshot that and they're gonna like go off to the races and say, see, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I had to work today. Did she get her wallet? No, ma'am. Still no wallet. She still won't really look through all her things like people have been telling her. Just look, like really look through all your junk and you'll, you'll find it. But no, she wants to have tantrums. She wants to fake cry. She wants to make up excuses. You know, typical churchy, you know. Blink real hard and a tear might come out, you know. Squeeze my face together. And I dump I dump Brad Brad Pitt because he has a tiny weenus. <laughs> so still no wallet. But yet there are people believing that because she said last night, like being all sarcastic, that she would reward you with five thousand dollars if you gave her back her wallet. Or found her wallet. There are now people believing that she has five thousand dollars. <laughs> she has Apple Pay. Like her debit card is on her phone. According to her. She should just do that. Dummy. All kinds of places have like, you know, mobile pay. Just put your phone up to the thing and it goes beep. Dummy. She needs more than new drawers. <laughs> she needs more than new drawers. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. For as directly challenged as she is, she can always find the five guys. That's what we should have done in the beginning when she was planning this trip. Put five beacons on all the five guys. <laughs> Truth. I sent Churchy a key to my condo in Key West, but she goes out to her van to scope. <gasps> rumors. Oh, there's also the rumor that you have a condo in Key West. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, churchy, churchy, churchy. Maybe it is true that she only left for renovations and she never got evicted. And this was all for show, bitch. Because now she's saying, I might have to go back to Florida. Oh, fuck. And what else? So we had that. The vicious rumor that Wayne's killed her dog by, by collapsing on it. And Churchy got underwear, but still can't find her wallet. But, oh, she's got candy canes and peanut butter. Y'all, don't forget. She got them candy canes. Peanut butter. Candy canes. All this instant food she can't cook because she has no access to water. <laughs> right. It sounds more, far more plausible than the fact that she is not panicking at being homeless. Exactly. Yup. Yeah. She has an excuse to go back. And I even told her as she was planning all this shit. I'm like, why are you leaving? 
Because if you leave states, you have to reestablish residency and all your, your medical doesn't kick in until you prove that you, you're going to live in your new state. Big dum-dum. Shit. But no, she thinks she knows everything. She ain't going to listen to nobody unless, oh my God. But she has, let's all thank God that she's no longer wearing skid mark panties. <laughs> skid mark panties. Skid mark chonis. I would be too. Homeless? You better believe it. I'd be like, what the fuck? No roof over my head. I'd be freaking out. Freaking churchy. I bet you she going back to that very same apartment, y'all. I bet y'all. If we see her in a couple weeks scoping and there's some cinder blocks behind her, y'all, I'm going to be mad as shit. Miss Davis, <laughs> we need to make these people stop going live over every little thing that they hear, especially if it comes from certain people. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Wings did not have a heart attack, collapse, and fall on her dog and kill her. <laughs> oh my God. And it's like, well, who told you? Well, I heard it in Keen's scope. Well, there you go, dum dum shit. Keen. Anything that pertains to wings coming out of Keen's mouth is a lie, okay? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, people will never learn. Children. Did you hear that mother got clean panties face? Mother got clean panties. You have been a beam hoe. But let's all thank the Lord that Churchy is no longer strutting around in skid mark panties. But her but, but her butt's still dirty because she ain't had a bath in like two or three days. Oh, well, she found them amongst all her crap. She can't find her wallet, but she can find clean pants. <laughs> oh, my God. She's just part because she has no plan. She wants everybody else to do the legwork. She's already been saying she wants a hotel tonight because it's about that time, you know, that you need to get a room. Can you imagine that cop walking up to the window and the window coming down? <laughs> Chi Chi said she took a shower there, you think? Well, they did get her a shower chair, like a seat. So she may have taken one shower. But she did duty the bed, according to Miss um, Chi Chi. She did a duty on the bed. She pulled the Soroka, basically. <laughs> She pulled the Soroka. Remember when Soroka poo poo in his banana hammock sleeping bag? His banana colored sleeping bag when Jimmy took a shit. Remember that? <laughs> mm mm mm. Chi Chi said she wouldn't shower. Ew. She got her a shower chair and everything. Oh, my God. This could have been a good thing for Churchy. But, no, she had to go inadvertently dox. Well, not dox her, but, you know, tell other people where she was. <laughs> Which, why is she even mad about that? I would, too. Shit. She was probably just tired of her and wanted her out after the duty. Yeah, there's a lot of little details that are, like, getting said that are, like, not right. 
or just because they actually said them, people are taking them as facts, like that, like that rumor that Churchy has five thousand dollars in the bank. Some people believe that it's true because she said that last night. <laughs> I think I might get Five Guys for lunch tomorrow just because. In honor of Churchy, we should all go to Five Guys. <laughs> people still do because there's that one or two newbies every couple of days who don't know shit. And then they, they go in, they go, they see. They see wah, 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 and it tugs at their heartstrings, you know? Yeah, she keeps calling this trip vacation. She keeps saying she's going to get her check and her food stamps. You know, it's just weird. I bet you she's going back to her old place. Watch. If she scopes in a couple of weeks from some behind some cinder block, y'all. Could you imagine? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I originally thought she was going to pretend to go out west, disappear for a minute. Come back and say, oh, it didn't work out out west. Five Guys is awesome. And it's not much more than McDonald's. They have great fries. They have great fries at Five Guys. Yeah, because everybody's rescoping her. It's like, ay, ay, ay. She is very good at her art. She is. You know what I have noticed today, though? What happened to Dr. Bud? Did he go get a new lung? Because we were listening to a Dr. Bud replay in Sushi this morning, and he was, like, hacking up a lung. Did he go get a new lung? Because he's very quiet. I'm not ghosting you. I see you, Wanderer. But, um, what was I going to say? Fuck. Oh, hi, Wonder. Sorry. You never beam up anymore and giggle like a 12-year-old girl like you used to. That upsets me. That ring video was bad. I was like, ooh, look. She even helped her take stuff to the car. Does that look like two people that were just fighting? No. <laughs> Shit. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Josh is live saying... Which Josh? Diesel Stacks? Oh, come on. Really? He's got to be being sarcastic. Because he didn't say nothing in that other guy's scope, who was the one who said, let's pray for wings because she had a heart attack, fell on her dog, and the dog died, which we know isn't true. <laughs> come on. Oh, my God. Is 2020 the year of... Let me out scam you with my scam. Holy shit. What is wrong with people this year so far? We've got Grey creating drama. We've got Ninja Grey creating drama where there is none. We've got people outdoing each other with their tall tails. Big King did something, he said. They are running wild with the wings dog story. <laughs> she had a heart attack, fell on her dog, and squished the dog to death. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh my god, is that that dog she calls? She calls Prieta. 
oh my god, if it's that dog that they're trying to say is dead. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. And now Josh is saying he's going to lose his house. Is he going to live in his rig like Churchy? Is living in her van? He's got two kids, so. There's no way that Keen could really do anything. Keen's a con. They're really going to believe an ex-con. They're really going to believe someone who did prison time. Come on. I can fix your, get you some clippers and fix that damn thing yourself. <laughs> He's marrying Churchy. He has a wife, though. He's going to be a polygamist? <laughs> 50 should do it. 50 bucks for your toenail. Well, you know what? You need to start a GoFundMe. Contact Jackie. She's very well versed in GoFundMe setups. <laughs> Was that shade or not? Nah? Y'all, I can't with this year. People are extra. I think for the rest of the year, I'll just crawl in a hole and peek out and watch Scope every now and then. Lexi can dip her Astro Pops in Churchy's pants. <laughs> oh, gross. It's not chocolate fondue, DK. Oh, God. <laughs> You're right, Anastasia. I'm totally lying. I will totally be watching all this shit. <laughs> all the while still not promoting my own PayPal or Cash App or Venmo. I still, to this day, have not got one dime off anyone. She has a stand set up out, have a sign, said $10. Happy ending? Oh, God. Ew. Ew. Church, you going to give people happy endings? Is she going to start, like, hooking? That's like celibate mystic when she was, like, when no money was coming in one day, she was like, I'll sell pussy pics. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Speaking of that one, has, has she run her course amongst all my friends? I don't get the shares anymore. Are Is Stormy and them bored with her? Because I don't get the shares anymore. I can't get away from this. It makes me mad at myself for wasting time. Join the club. That's what we're all doing. We're, we're Some of us are at work. Some of y'all, I should say, are at work at your desk, like, hunched down, like, hope my boss don't see me. Shit. That is not my buttholes for bitch. <laughs> I would never sell a butthole pic. Now, don't get me wrong. I like buttholes, but not in picture form. If you're just showing me that booty hole and nothing else, I'm like, oh, you're nasty. Literally, see, Mia's working, but she works from home. I don't get celibate mystic anymore. Did she block them people? I had to sleep and take care of my daily life true but you know this isn't this is the churchy show she called it a show remember she called it a show the other day so we're talking about the show maybe churchy can bring bang bus sport back and make some cash <laughs> yeah. what do you think she'll do though for, like, some cash. Surely she won't do any of that stuff. She, 
She got her account. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sullivan Mystique got banned, didn't she? Because what's his name reported her? I'm surprised he hasn't reported Churchy. <clears throat> that nosy, um, what's his name? He watches everyone, but then he reports them. Fucking shit. What the fuck? Hobos in the Walmart parking lots. Oh my god, she could do homeless fights. Gonzo reported Sullivan missed it. That's how come she lost her original account. And he, he got on here after it was done. Like, yay, good job. Good job. This, that, and the other. I was like, oh god. Hello, Stormy. Did you hear the latest vicious rumor? <laughs> Did you hear the... Uh, it, it has nothing to do with Churchy. I had to tell you this, Stormy. Oh, my God. So get this, Churchy. Um, there is a rumor that Keen started that Wings had a heart attack, collapsed, fell on her dog, and killed the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I knew as soon as he said he said that she fell on the dog and it died. I was like, no, no. <laughs> Did I call Stormy Churchy? My bad. I really apologize. <laughs> this guy Chris, he goes live with the title Pray for Wings, right? And I'm like, what's this bitch going on about? Pray for wings. And I go in there and he's like, we need to pray for wings because she had a heart attack. And when she collapsed, she fell on her dog and the dog died. And I was like, and who told you this? He was like, well, I heard it in Big Keen Scope. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Big Keen did. He could be funny, you know, if him and we, if he wasn't beefy, if I didn't feel some kind of way about wings, I wouldn't, I wouldn't find it funny, but it's wings. So that's why I think it's funny. <laughs> King plays too much and everybody believes whatever, everybody believes whatever you say on here, which is weird. A lot of people believe whatever you say on here like just like that guy Chris did and that's why he went live with prayers for wings and I'm like oh lord what happened to wings now you did super stupid Ricky well damn mock you gotta hear this one you gotta hear this one mock you've gotta hear this rumor mock <laughs> and it's not churchy related you've gotta hear this are you ready? Are you ready, Mock? Listening ears. Listening ears, Mock. Are you ready? I have unrelated church, not related to churchy tea. No, it's this. According to Keen, according to Keen, Wings had a heart attack, collapsed, fell on her dog, and killed the dog. I can't. I can't. <laughs> you know it's bullshit, but it's funny. <laughs> she fell on the dog and killed the dog. It's not, duh. Hello, lady. Jeez. Just like it's not true that Churchy has $5,000 in the bank. It is not true that Churchy has five grand in her bank account. Otherwise, Social Security would be on her ass. Because you can only have X amount of dollars in your bank account. <laughs> oh my God. I can't with people that go live without double and triple checking. Churchy is in the parking lot of someplace. 
last location I knew of was the Five Guys parking lot. But she was crying because she couldn't go in to eat because she has no access to her money. Because, you know, no card, no ATM card, which um, if I if I know, if I remember correctly, the woman's got Apple Pay set up on her phone. So she's got all her cards in her phone. She can use Apple Pay. Put that sucker up to the, the device and it'll go beep. And then it'll ask you to enter your pin and you're good to go. God, do we got to do everything for this woman? Don't answer that question because I know the answer. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. And Chi Chi showed ring camera footage of her helping Churchy take stuff out to the van. It looks nothing like two people that have just had a knockdown drag out. So there's that. Hello, everyone that's coming in saying hello. My bad. You you know good damn well, y'all, that van is in one of them damn bags. It's probably in that one with the salad dressing, but it's blending in with the bag. <laughs> it's blending in with one of her bags and she can't see it. <laughs> Though it's with the one with the salad dressing. She had a bag with salad dressing and tuna fish in it. I have no idea where she got that fucking salad dressing and tuna fish and, you know, instant rice and chips and candy canes. She paid at Five Guys with it. She knows exactly, Meg. Exactly. She's just being a con. Yeah, she cries like, exactly. It's like a newborn baby cry. And then that squeezing of her eyeballs so hard, trying to make a tear come out. <laughs> it's crazy. No, but I wonder what it's like for you to get muted. How about that, Stephen? Since you have one six one hundred and sixty people, yes, you may beam up and bitch. You have an audience. Mock is going to beam up and bitch. Y'all put your listening ears on. Ah, it's acting up. Try it again, Mock. Oh, there it goes. So I I want to talk about MAGA Heather. Uh huh. It's um. Never mind the fact that she has decided to uh -huh. make Stephen some sort of project. Dang, am I repeating? No, you're not. I was just saying hello to someone. My bad. Oh, okay. Anyway, um. You know, that's dangerous. We know his behavior, his past behavior and what he does. So why she would get that involved in his life, you know, she's not qualified. Neither is Bud. I hate to say I agree with a lot of what Glock said today, but I do agree with a lot of what she said. Oh, did she none talk? Of, she was up on the beam, but none of us are qualified to help Stephen. You know, his parents are the ones that should be helping him. Bud is bad for him always threatening and holding the cops over his head that's fucked up or calling and his parents yeah i mean that's fucked up bud needs to step away um but here's my thing yeah heather is behind the scenes stirring up a lot of shit and i've about had it with her uh, however uh, okay so i don't know how she knows anything about lulu the only way that i can think that she knows any of that information about lulu is that she somehow you know got to be friends with lulu found some personal information out and for her to even tell steven for her to even Wait, tell steven, steven any of that lulu? personal stuff yes she told steven that lulu was a sex addict that Lulu <gasps> led her on, or led him led on, him all on. this stuff, you know, and um, that's totally inappropriate. First of all, I don't even know if it's true. I mean, obviously, Lulu's got issues, but even right. if she did know that information, 
um, that was so wrong of her to tell Stephen that. And, and, um, and even if she said, now, listen, Stephen, I'm going to tell you some stuff about Lulu B and I don't want you to repeat it. Okay. Well, that's just stupid. That just he's goes to show you that anyway. she's not he qualified. Yeah. Of course, of course. And the other thing that she's doing that's pissing me off, if, if Stephen is not lying, and I'm going to assume that he's not lying, is for her to, to have Stephen believing that he did nothing wrong and that this is all Lulu's fault. No. Mm-mm. Wow. So I have a problem. I have a real problem with that. And I know I'm not the only one that has a problem with that. There's just two. I don't know. There's something. She is behind the scenes way too involved in way too many lives. And that is concerning to me. But what she's right. doing with Steven is fucked up. Don't Steven does not need anybody telling him that none of the shit with Lulu was his fault. That it's all Lulu's fault. No, that's bullshit. Steven needs to learn self-control. He yeah, needs it was a anger management. Street. Right. Yeah, it was a two way street. If everybody believes what Heather I never understood Yes, she was part of the Facebook people, Meg. She and was part Facebook of the, part of that Facebook no group, Z. and apparently she caused all kinds of wreaked all kinds of havoc over there. And then when all that burned out, she came over here. So here's my problem. You know, uh, Lulu B has got issues. Okay, so so maybe, uh, and I'm not blaming Lulu, Lulu B, uh, I'm not going to do that because she's obviously got some issues and she was flirting with Steven. Okay. So according to what everybody well, not what everybody, but what Heather thinks and what a lot of people think is that um, if you flirt with Steven, then you've led him on. Well, if that's the case, then everybody, I have flirted with a lot of fucking people on this app and I've led them all on, you know, and I think Lulu B wanted to be kind of fr- be friends with him. And maybe she did flirt inappropriately. Yeah. But other than that, that's, her. that's all her. Yeah. she's guilty of. That's all she's guilty of. You know, mm-hmm. if she realized partway through, for whatever reason, she wasn't paying attention, that Stephen was taking it too seriously, or she changed her her mind, you know, and decided, you know what, I don't, I'm not interested in this guy. That's her right. Every woman has right. a right to change her mind. Just because, you know, we, we flirt or whatever, let's say we go out on a date and, um, and we have a kiss with a guy that doesn't commit us to having a fucking relationship with a guy. Right. And that, that's what happens with Stephen. Everybody, woman or man has a right to change their mind about somebody when they start mm-hmm. to see red flags. And it sounds like she started to see red flags. And she distanced herself and he doesn't like it. Exactly. But what Heather's doing with Steven is fucked up. And I think she's going to get her karma because I'm assuming that she was, that she, he has a way to contact her off of scope. I think he does. Um, I don't know if it's a phone number, but you know, if it is. And, and, and my big thing is anybody with a family and kids and a job, how do they have, um, how do they have the time to, to be that involved in Steven's life? And again, I go back to this. No one here is qualified to handle Steven. Nobody even yeah. knows what his diagnosis is. We don't know exactly what's wrong with him. The only thing from what I can tell is, and I'm not going to diagnose him, but what I know for sure is he has an anger management problem. That's one thing you can see for sure without yep. needing a degree. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that man has an anger management problem and that needs to be addressed. But um, for Bud and Steve and um, Mega Heather and anybody who thinks that they, you know, are qualified to handle Steven, you know, they're barking up the wrong tree. And I am really just disgusted and disappointed that anybody would tell Steven personal things like that about Lulu and and assume that he would not c- come on this app once he got pissed at Lulu and spread it to everybody. Right. No one needs to know those those that information about Lulu, whether it's true or not. No one right. needed to know any of that. That's what he's been doing. He's been busting into beams and just talking about it. That's yep. why I'm meeting him. I don't want him to call in and be like, well, this, this, and this about this chick and that chick. I don't want to hear about your, your so-called chicks because they're not your chicks, first of all. Yeah, he you was know? retaliating. And I do think that Steven, I mean, I'm not saying she didn't flirt. She may have. <clears throat> but again... <clears throat> You can flirt, but that doesn't, there should be no expectation. 
of a relationship or anything like that just from flirting. I'm sorry. Right. And I think he, he's been shown in the past to read the signals incorrectly. Um, and he gets very possessive. He's done it with his friends. He'll probably do it with Maga Heather eventually, and that'll be her karma, and I'm going to laugh. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, I just think everybody needs to block him. I had He came on a new account, and I hadn't blocked him, and I let him follow me. And in fact, he came into my scope, but I'm going to block him. Um, mm -hmm. He just doesn't... Um, he he doesn't know how to behave, and I don't think nobody's going to change him on here. This is the third or fourth time he's done the exact same behavior. Yeah, and now and now he's bitching that you know churchy is the topic of you know this last few weeks, you know, because he wants all the attention. And he's like, why do you talk about this? It's like because we want to. You don't like it? You could just leave, you know. Yeah. Well, that's the least of, I mean, okay, he's, he wouldn't be the first person on the app that's jealous that someone else is getting numbers and attention, you know, yeah. um, that that's not unusual behavior, but the other stuff is just, I just had to speak up about that. Cause I, yeah, I know because... I'm not the only one and that's just inappropriate. I mean, um, I if wish, she's I wish... behind the scenes, befriending people and getting and, and making them think that they can trust her and she's gathering information and then she's relaying it to other people. That's fucked up. That's crazy. Uh, so I'm curious for her to talk about how she found out this stuff about Lily B. About Lulu did... and why she told Stephen. Yeah. yeah, because Stephen was saying, everybody knows this about Lulu. No, they didn't. No, no I, I, I didn't know. Did you know, Wheels, that she was I allegedly didn't... a sex addict? I didn't know she was a sex addict. I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think that women that flirt are sex addicts so i never even thought of that you know well if women who flirt are sex addicts then i'm a fucking then sex shit, you're a, well you are a hoe remember you're a hoe i'm a reformed hoe i'm a reformed you went hoe. to italy for some d remember well i didn't know i mean that's not exactly how it happened but yes you're right that's what everybody thinks so i'll let them believe that it's See, that's just what... i'm telling you i've been sus suspicious all along about her um I have. I've been suspicious all along about her. She's just, and I know I'm not the only one. She's, she's, you know, everywhere uh, in everybody's business. But once again, none of us are qualified to handle Steven. We're not his caretaker. We're not responsible for him. Right. And you, we, nobody can begin to try to fix him when nobody even knows what his problems are. The only problem yeah. I know for sure that Steven has is an anger management problem. And that's all I will ever say for sure. 100% I know that he has an anger management yeah, problem. I'm not going to fix him. I'm just going to mute him or, you know, fight with him. He wants to be treated like a man. And if he comes at me all sideways, then we're going to fight. And if he doesn't like it, that's too bad. So, yeah. And I will say, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, um, Don Lod's been, been, uh, you know, getting his little digs here and there about my looks and all that stuff and scopes. And that's fine. That only makes him look like a dumbass or a piece of shit, whatever you want to call him. But mm -hmm. I will, I will give credit where credit is due. He does have a way of handling Steven that calms him. I mean, he does not put up with shit from Steven, even though he lets him up in the beam. He right. has this way of like getting Steven to calm down. And well, he really um, does. And I'll give him that. You know? Yeah, I'll give him that. I'll, I will give him that. I think in a lot of ways that he will, you know, he handles him, um, you know, well, but I, I don't think he should, you know, I think as soon as, I think Steven should be blocked, but if you don't want to block him and you let him up in your beam, once he starts that shit about Lulu B or That's his raising him. his voice and his anger, he needs to be dropped and blocked immediately. When he, start, when he starts talking about girls is when he gets all, like, you know, hostile. When it comes to females is when he gets all, you know, worked up. So it doesn't even have to be about Lulu. It could be about any of these so-called chicks of his, you know, that he talks about. Yeah, so that's the thing. People need to stop. And I'm sorry, Bud. I, I don't like Bud anyway. He knows I don't like him. I don't have any respect for him. He has no business dealing with Steven. And I have just about, it is fucked up. As, as shitty as Steven can be, it is really a fucking, it is mental abuse in my mind for, for Bud to go running around and constantly holding over Steven's head that he's going to call the police. You know, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call your parents. I think that is so fucked up. There's no way in hell that any any type of therapist would uh, would would say that that was okay. 
that's just a, a, a mind game with him. And, right. and, and, and anyway, he shouldn't be involved in that anyway. He shouldn't be threatening to call his dad, threatening to call the police. He's constantly holding that over his head. That's fucked up. Just fucking block him and get out of his life, bud. You are no good for him. I'm sorry. Right. Bud is not good for, for Steven. He's not. So Poor Belinda doesn't hope... know who Steven is. You don't want to know, girl. Yeah. And RIP to anybody who um, who gave Heather any, you know, personal information about them because guess what? It'll come out somehow, some way through someone she else. May have, she may have told Steven. She may have told Steven. <laughs> Just like she told that stuff about Lulu to Steven. Yep. And now he's using it to like bash her because he's mad at her. Yeah, I want anybody in here, if you knew, like Steven said, and like Heather apparently said, that 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 Lulu B was a sex addict, alleged sex addict, type one, because I had no idea. Yes, that's who I'm talking about, Belinda. Yes, the Lulu B, Belinda, you know who we're talking about. If you really believe that before hearing that, see, nobody knew that. Yeah, no one knew that. We just but, thought she was a flirty girl, you know. And, and, and that's here's not the thing bad. about Steven. The one thing about, I don't think Steven's well, Delena, lying. Delena thought. You did one and you knew before. Okay. Delena. I saw her scopes and that's why I well, blocked the, her. I never blocked her. But wait, but how did she, she, so Lulu B scoped and told the world that she's a sex addict? I guess by the way that she was portraying herself in the scope. Or Delena, are you saying you knew she was because of her behavior? She used okay, to roll but Delena, around. Delena, answer the question. Did she, in her scopes, tell everyone she was a sex addict? Behavior, based on behavior. Okay, well, that doesn't mean that you knew she was a sex addict. You know, no offense, but... That, that does not mean she was a sex addict. You had an idea, probably. She okay, so DK Boston, you know, she has mental issues, obviously. We I think we know that. She's admitted that. She's got, you know, I, I don't again, I'm not gonna try to diagnose her based on her reactions. She looks like she's got some Yeah, she uh, has issues. She's still her PTSD type of issues going on based yeah, on she, how I saw her react um a few you know last week or whatever but again i'm not going to try to diagnose her but it's fucked up to go around and 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 for steven to go around and relay that information for heather to be relaying it to steven and for steven to be talking about it as if the world already knew right you know i mean i i can't imagine somebody would just get on here and go hey guys guess what yeah, I'm a sex addict. I just want you all to know and go ahead and tell everyone because I want the whole world to know that I'm a sex addict. No, that's not something people are proud of. They're ashamed of it. You know, I mean, maybe when they're in recovery, you know, again, I don't even think it's true at this point. I just think right. that she there's a difference between somebody who's addicted to sex and somebody who um, who craves the attention of males. And so right. and. There's no shortage of them on the app. Go look on your newsfeed right now. A whole bunch of women on your newsfeed showing their titties and their asses. And I don't think all of yeah. them are sex addicts, PG-13. but they crave attention yeah. from men. They just, they're exhibitionists. They're not really addicts. Yeah. 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 There's, there's a difference. A, a sex, a person, a se- person with a sex addiction. It See, wrecks Belinda their wants life. to go live and show her rack. Does that make her a sex addict? <laughs> Um, no, I just think it makes her, you know, and that's the other thing. Are they just, they just want the attention of the men? Are they trying to earn a legit living? Are they just a hoe like I used to be, you know? Belinda likes prisoners. That's what she likes. Yeah. So anyway, Steven, I'm going to block. That's all. I wanted to talk about that because I was, um, I was really kind of. And uh, I've had more of your candy today. It tastes so good still. Oh my God. Oh yeah, it'll be good for a few weeks. Probably the the crack lasts a long time, and I literally made that, you know, that week. So total BS what Steven said, but I wouldn't so be good. repeating it on. I could see why you call it crack. It is. Yeah, so and that's good. the thing, Stu. He's doing that on purpose because he's mad at um he's mad at Lulubi. He's mad at Lulubi, so he's making sure he says all this stuff. Yeah, that's. And she, 
shame on Heather if she's really telling him that none of this is his fault because it is. He, you know, I mean, you, he right. misconstrues stuff and then he gets attached. And then he tries to control everybody. And I know Steven's probably listening from the lobby. Yeah, because so I need here's... him, so he's still here. Okay, he so well yeah. Still be here. yeah. Or he, you know he's listening. The deal is, Steven, if you uh, don't like it, like seeing Lulubi, then you need to block her. And yeah, that's right. If she's in scopes and you go in there and it makes you feel a, a anger or whatever, you need to leave. That's not her problem. That's yours. Just like you we have, need to control how we handle him. That's right. You have a self-control her. issue yeah. and, and there's something about when you see her, it triggers her. So you need to avoid her. You should not expect Lulubi to not to not go to... You shouldn't expect people to block her and you shouldn't expect her to stop going to scopes. You try to do that scope. same shit to Booby. So cut the shit. It's the same. He did the same stuff to Fly Girl too. The pattern's the same. He does the same shit every time. People, yep. stop trying to fix Steven. You can't. No one's qualified. We're not professionals. Apparently, his parents aren't either, so. Anyway. Yeah. And that's all I wanted to bitch about. All right. So, you got it all out? Now, go make me Yeah, I think so. Me. I don't know. I'm, I mean. Go make I don't me think punch so. of mochas. <laughs> oh, I made uh, six hot cocoa bombs last night. <gasps> I know. I have to get. I I I uh, I bought some like um, red and pink little candy melts so I could decorate the top of them and some little um, some little like Valentine's confetti stuff. So I'm gonna make them look really cute. And so, um, are and you gonna I'll, are I'll you gonna to are you them. gonna do the velvet little cookies and actually decorate them all from now on or what? No, hell no. I'm just going to dust them with some damn powdered sugar. You guys will be the only ones lucky enough to get them. We're the only ones that got a full-on thing. <laughs> well, actually, that's not true. Now that I have, like, the red and pink and white um, candy melts, you know, the good ones. I don't buy mm -hmm. the shitty Wilton ones, you guys. I buy Merkins and uh, what's the other brand? Mock real... buys high-quality ingredients. That's right. Yeah, and the chocolate I use for my cocoa bombs is Swiss, Swiss chocolate imported from obviously Switzerland. Nice. Um, and I'm actually thinking about making my own homemade marshmallows to put into the cocoa bombs, but then I would have to yes. sell them for like 10 bucks a piece. But, um, and let me tell y'all, her stuff is very uh, professional. Her side hustle is very professionally packaged, presented. I'm so impressed. Where can I leave a review besides Periscope? <laughs> When can we order? I don't have any of my stuff on. Um, I I just bought more ingredients tonight to start cranking out caramels for um, for uh, for Valentine's Day. Um, but I just got a big order from a a friend of mine who just buys my stuff all the time. Um, oh, the red and the pink and the white candy melts. I think what I'm going to do with the uh, the red velvet madeleines that I sent you is instead of dipping them. I'm going to just, like, drizzle the chocolate on top, like, back and forth, the different yes. colors. I think that'll look so cute. But they're so good. It's all so good. Well, I'm glad your, the cookies are still Your stuff uh, is very fresh. good. I, I highly recommend your products. Well, don't tell people so, that because I don't have it up on my site right now. Nobody can buy it. Those of you anything. who have never bought anything, just do it. You won't regret it. Oh my God, April! The chalk, the hot cocoa bombs are so cute. I have to, I have to get them all decorated and packaged and with their tags before I come on scope and show them, and then I'll demonstrate one. They are just the cutest thing. You know, April, I'm going to be in Louisville next month. I think you April, are. Yeah, I think April's in Louisville. Aren't you in Louisville? Jeez. Yeah, well, cookie. You didn't know Cookie Con is in Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> oh my God! Will you be arrested again coming back? No. <laughs> like I last don't think year? so. No, that got cleared, by the way. My trespassing thing—it was all dismissed. Oh, good. Hi, Kath. Good. Yeah, that chapter of my life is gone. Yeah, I'm gonna be in um, Louisville for Cookie Con next month. Cookie Con. I yeah, didn't know there was a con. There's a con yeah. for everything. We can set something up. Yeah, I, um, you know, once I get there, I'm pretty busy, but, um, but I arrive on Tuesday, I arrive on a Tuesday and I leave early on a Monday morning. So, I mean, I'm going to be there. Let me see. I have cookie con Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, I think is the final dinner. 
but I have like all day. There's Sunday. a closing dinner for Cookie Con. Yeah, they have a big, huge dinner. It's a big You're deal. Kidding? No. That's amazing, and it's just about it's awesome sweet stuff. That's amazing. Do any it's celebrities awesome. go to Cookie Con? Like celebrity bakers? Well, I mean, now it's too late because they sold out. Actually, I don't know why they sold so many. They sold out of shopping passes, but um, they have a vendor hall. And inside the vendor hall, if you guys have watched me for a while, remember I, I used to scope the sugar show. So they have all these beautiful cookies that people the enter. sugar art. Mm. Yeah, the sugar art. And so they were selling um, for the first time. No, actually, I think they did it last year. They were selling shopping passes. So you could go into the exhibit hall and buy stuff from the exhibitors. And also you could see the sugar show. But um, I didn't buy any. I mean, it's obviously included in my past. But does mock cosplay as? Uh, no, but Is one there year. Is cosplay at Cookie Con? <laughs> in 2015. I think it was 2015. It was in Salt Lake City. And it was the same weekend as, as uh, Comic Con. Ooh. So we went to Comic Con for the day. It was hysterical. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So look, your cookie numbers con. are dropping because I started talking about. Because you're talking cookie about Cookie con, con. It's okay. I I'm know. about to leave anyway because I have to go have dinner. All right. Well, I'm in bed. Or my <laughs> voice is giving out because I'm still sick. Thanks for letting me get up in the beam and bitch. I really appreciate it. No problem. Bro- That's what I'm best. here for. And your you're stuff the is the best. Oh, thank you. I'll I'll pay you I'll I'll send you that twenty dollars uh um uh PayPal for for pimping out my uh my candy <laughs> <laughs> like we agreed to. All righty. I'm just kidding. All right, bye. Yep, bye. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm leaving. Unless Belinda would like to call in for a few minutes. Why are you here, Belinda? You said you would never get on scope. I'm bitch. I'm gonna call you later and bitch at you. Wait, we're going to talk to Belinda for a few seconds. Listen, lady, get off scope. Yes. Oh, my God. The next person to say, can you hear me when they beam up? (laughs) I'm going to block them. I know. Everybody says it, so I have to say it now because that's all. Every time I get on somebody's scope right here, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, uh, Can you hear me? (laughs) I hate it. So what's up? <laughs> Nothing. I'm scared of the beam now. Oh, April. April, I she had to back. Churchy. She called in the church. I know. She said, no. she said, don't yell at me, lady. I know. She hung up on her church. I know. On April. And then I called in and I said, don't you dare be yelling at April. You had no right. And I said, you better apologize now. And then she, I, <laughs> she got, she, she, she shut up. I was like, nobody yells at April. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Click>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god. oh my god oh that was too funny it was a funny scope because i said are you wearing your seatbelt still i said you have your seatbelt on and she said she said yes and i said okay take your seatbelt off and she said no and i'm like rude <laughs> she hung up she's so me. rude <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever. I didn't even get a buy. I know she did it. She said, click, April. She just clicked you off. Yeah. Yeah, April. She said, April, screw you. Look, your numbers go down when I'm on. See, nobody knows it's yeah, me. because nobody don't, knows who you are. Don't yeah. nobody tell anybody. Care. Care, there's my girl. There's Kat. There's me. Oh, my God. There's you're April. Blowing my, you're blowing my ears out because you're on Android. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> DK, DK. <laughs> See your number. The numbers are dropping because you're so loud. Oh shit! Okay, I'm leaving then. All right. I I know who you are. How do you know? Really? Tell me about it. <laughs> anyway, I'll probably come back later for a nightcap. Uh, I have n- to go eat dinner. A nightcap. You know how I am. I'm a nightcap person on scope. No. Oh, I know. I called you a whore. I called you a drama whore. Did you? Your face is a drama whore. <laughs> it is. Look at me. All right. I, I'm All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. Everybody, goodbye. I have to go eat my dinner. Prawn, when are you and Gina going to go live and do it on scope?
We've Johnny has been waiting. He has the towels and his his drink and his weed and <laughs> <laughs> he has towels, his drink, his weed. Because we're going out in a minute. Fuck y'all. Okay, bye. <laughs> You're not supposed to go out. You're supposed to go live and pretend Gina's filming you make a movie. And I'm just playing. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I said you have your drink ready and your weed ready for when Gina and Pran go live doing a show. But I'm leaving because I have to go eat. So bye. Wait, I'll let you finish typing your comment, Johnny. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, I'll see y'all in a couple of hours, maybe. Well, we've been going there ever since she got there. We've been waiting for the world famous scope. Anyway, see y'all in a few hours, unless we have more churchy breaking news. Once again, Wings did not have a heart attack, fall on her dog, and kill it. So that's not true, what Big Keen said. Okay, bye, y'all. <laughs>